Thunder Bay Superior North Conservative candidate Frank Polio held his ribbon cutting and official office opening today. Here's the story with Net News Ledger. Hear from people when we go and call them at the door, we listen to their needs and aspirations, and we hear that we need to make life more affordable for all Canadians. Life is becoming more expensive. Even though, you know, our opposition like to say how many jobs are being created, CBC National is a poll right after that to dispel the notion that Canadians are buying into it. Canadians are still feeling and they're still expressing concern about the future. So some jobs are being created, but most of them are low paying jobs. There's still a lot of insecurities. The majority of Canadians are two paychecks away from financial disaster. So there is a lot of uncertainty. And when we go and talk to Canadians and talk to the people in Thunder Bay Superior North what their concerns are, they share those concerns. Life is becoming more expensive. And one of the fundamental things, one of the basic uh, things that we mentioned at the door is we want to make life more affordable for all Canadians, not just the elite, someone who's benefiting from you know, certain initiatives, political funding. Those funding have to benefit everyone. No one is to be left behind. When we talk about social responsibility, we also need to build on that. It's not just you know, this, this perception that conservatives are for the rich. Who is rich in Thunder Bay Superior North? Mm -hmm. The great majority of people, Thunder Bay is a multi-ethnic city representing people from all walks of life, from all, from everywhere in the world. That's our strength, you know. So we need to represent everyone and make sure that, you know, we reflect those needs and aspirations. To the extent that we can do that, they will support us. That's what we're hearing. And they're already saying that, expressing that to us at the door. I just wanted to share that with you. And that is why I'm so pumped. And the more I talk about it, the more I think about it, the more I feel good about the prospects of winning these elections on October 21st of this year. We still got four months. You know, we're getting energized, we're getting more, we're already organized, but your presence here today speaks to that desire to see positive things happen. And I thank you for coming out and showing you some back inside to you to say a few words. Uh, but I wanted to uh, thank everybody for coming out. It's like a great turnout, great event, a lot of excitement. You know, I'd like to acknowledge my fellow candidate in the Thunder Bay, the Red River, former councilor, Helping making this happen today, too many names to mention. We'll go inside them and say a few more things, but I wanted to thank you personally. You came out to support us. We're getting a lot of good response at the door, a lot of good feedback, better than expected. Yep. Very exciting. We got three more, four months. Looking forward to continue to build our brand of a conservative, what conservative means for Thunder Bay, because fundamentally, we are a multi-ethnic city that enshrines our values of accountability, transparency, social, fiscal, and environmental responsibility. Yes. So those are the guiding principles that guide ourselves, those that build. We're building a strong foundation, and that's been reflected at the door, and we'll continue as we progress in winning this writing and make history for Thunder Bay, Sukhumi, and Rock. There you go.